Hi and welcome to this channel. I'm Dami Lola. On today's tutorial, I will teach us on how we can use libraries in Sketchway. So there are three ways we can add a library to our Sketchway project in Android. So we can either add the library in the form of a Java file. This is the standard form of Java project entirely. Then Android came up with ARR. This is a, a Android specific library. What it contains is it contains a jar file itself a jar file is a zip compressed file an android manifest file it can contain an android manifest file the resource file the native library files and so on and so forth so ideally an ar aar file is an android project built as a library why a jar file is a java project built as a library instead of a software so you can add it as an external project to your main project so in this tutorial i'll teach us on how and also we can also download library which is common on github pages by their link i'll show us how we can do this in sketchway and how to properly set everything up in order not to have issues and so on and so forth please as we go on as we go on please on the notification bell subscribe and like please share this video for us to learn thank you for watching let's dive into the main content of the day okay so i'm assuming we have created our schedule projects i'm assuming we have created our schedule projects so i can see we have three ways of adding a library just think of a library as another person source code added in your project so we can't really use the other person library or another person project on its own so it need to be attached to an to a software package to be able to be used so we have if because in our schedule whatsapp group so we have a schedule community on whatsapp someone asked for a library he asked for a library so for privacy sake i will not show the chat message and the reply he was giving was an ar file so for a beginner this video will come in handy for you even for professionals how sketch where and those library is different so i will explain all this today so if it were to be an Android Studio project, we'd have added our library to build file of the app level. But since it's scheduled, we're going to add it in our local library if we are downloading the library. If it's not a file, so we're going to have to download the library. Please, we need to look at this, this format. So it must be in the format of org dot. That is the package name. Then semicolon the library name and the version but then if you look at this this library is not in that format so since it's not in that format it's going to give an error if invalid format so to be able to get the valid format we need to change it to semicolon and change this to semicolon Uh, I see the package name semicolon the library name semicolon the version and the version name and version code that's how they construct a library URL or a library link so now we can download so once the project has been downloaded so I'm not going to really download for this tutorial you can download your project on your end you just need to add the library just need to add the library and other library that was downloaded along with it so you need to add them by checkboxing them and you need to add them by checkboxing them that is how to add a library by link now let's add a library by jar file so we need to understand that sketchway has a working directory so sketchway has a working directory though is it in on most devices but i made this app to bring out the folder so the folder name is dot sketchway 
our lips is where we are the library so let's use a sample library what the person was given what the person was given is is an AR library file so first of all let's work with a jar library file so if we have a jar library file we can name it any name test jar create a folder okay it already exists since i have created it before now so this is our test jar so if we have a jar from our folder we just copy it here we copy the jar and it's because of the schedule build system the jar name must be classes dot jar in lower case if it's classes dot one dot anything it will not compile if it's your library name or any other name apart from classes dot jar it will not compile then we need to create the dex so let's create the dex okay So we have, come, we have created the jar and dex so all we need to do now is to come to our projects and just add the library so we are going to search for it since i have plenty project that's why there's plenty library i've been doing this for the past three years so we'll just add it and that is all for a jar file but if it's an aar file if it's an aar file we'll come back to this our working directory and then we create we create we create a folder in our schedule folder test aar create a folder so let's copy this here because we are going to extract we are going to extract it let's unzip it okay so we unzip it and then move all the files inside we're going to move them here then we can delete this folder you can see and we can also delete the aar file also delete the file The next thing we are going to do is we are going to convert the jar to dex and then we are going to create a file called config config now inside this config before we open the config file let's open the manifest we copy the package name copy the package name of the manifest come back and we we'll open the config as a text and then we save it then we go back so we have added our jar we have done the jar now for the AR this is all we need for the setup for AR so if we see in our manifest in our manifest there is more code than this for instance there is an application tag or there is an activity tag we are going to copy the activity tag we have a meta tag a provider tag a, a receiver tag we need to copy all those tags but since all those tags are not here we are not going to copy them all the tags are or if there is a permission we see in the project you are going to add that permission to your project so that's how to set up an aar and then we come to our project and then add it we are going to add the test AR. so with this with this we have successfully added an AAR library to our schedule project yes if there is a native library we are going to add it to 
there's a native library we are going to add it to so this is not is not really supported on schedule so thank you for watching this video please watch this video from beginning to end help me grow by supporting me so share it to others thank you guys for your constant subscribing please turn on notification bell share and subscribe thank you once more i remain damilola good night